The melting of the polar ice caps has seen all of Tobago and a large chunk of Trinidad submerged by rising sea levels. With the country's industrial base now destroyed, economic and social chaos ensue. Food, water, and fuel riots become common. And almost as if the gods were laughing at us, a mysterious disease suddenly appears, slowly reducing men, women, and children to their base instincts. Unable to find a cure for the economic decline or the infectious disease, the government of the day declares a state of emergency, rounding up any infected and corralling them behind a colossal wall. This barrier is defended by Trinidad and Tobago Unified Defense Force officers, colloquially known as Wallflowers. The Point Lisas industrial estate stands broken, abandoned, and battered by the sea. This is Trinidad's new southern coastline. Tobago no longer exists. To the north are two industrial plants, a broken down housing development, an old landfill, and a graffiti laden monstrosity of a wall separating what's left of the shiny western peninsula from the mess. The old people say that this place wasn't always so. No matter what problems we had, we could always forget about them, with a drink, a lime, or a jump up for the carnival. Maybe forgetting is what got us here. On the good side of the wall, a Trinidad and Tobago Unified Defense Force vehicle pulls up to a remote checkpoint. Corporal Ayadel Smith, aka Ayo, exits with her duffel bag in hand. The driver points her toward a small police station that's built against the wall. You enjoy it, just ring the bell. Hey, must be late for dinner. Bemused, she walks toward the door. Inside the charge room, Sergeant Gabriel Judah sits behind a desk littered with paper. He's reading a hard copy of Io's service file. A large section of it has been redacted, and he is disturbed by this. Judah looks up at the security monitors and sees the young officer outside. He unlocks the door. As she walks in, he returns to examining her file. Corporal Ayodel Smith reporting, sir. He slowly raises his head. Is a woman? Last time I checked, yes. Why does it near? Well, the Science and Environment Division clues. Is only some troublemakers here, no? He shows her the blacked out sections of the file. <clears throat> My previous assignment was sensitive. Sensitive? So we get straight one time, out here in old lab. It's a rough thing. Understand that? And you might live. Yes, so. Don't say I ain't warn you. You could change inside eh? Ayo enters the change room, shutting the door behind her. Understand that, and you might live. Outside the station, Ayo and Judah, both sporting militarized hazmat suits, prepare for their journey to the other side of the wall. Mounted in the tray of their truck is a launcher, not for rockets, but for traps, the preferred method of dealing with the terminally infected. Also in the tray is a wooden crate filled with the required ammo, the word caution printed on its face. Ayo stares at the munitions pensively. We get in plenty runners these days, hence the traps. And hence me. Only difference is, I ask for you. Well, I'm here and I intend to make the best of it. Why the upsurge? Enough making the animals and them restless. I clung on the TV and helping things either. They aren't animals. <laughs> That's what they used to tell all you in a sunny. There's <laughs> no one dead get closed down. They exit the good side and enter the buffer zone, otherwise known as what's left of the east-west corridor. Burned and broken down buildings, abandoned cars, bloodstains and garbage tell the story of its chaotic past. On a few of the buildings, the logo for the National Union of Freedom Fighters, NUF, is spray-painted in black. 
Judah notices Ayo staring pensively out the window. Trini's so stupid. Mash up their own place. Desperation will do that to people, you know. Desperation don't make people turn criminal. That was in them from the start, in the DNA. What DNA you referring to? You know what I mean. Them is not we. Them Gunters are them. You know this is mostly them who get infected. That's not even remotely true though. Trust me, it's mostly them. Them faggots and atheists and them are far behind either. All of them get. All of them deviants and them get. I don't know why we ain't just drop a bomb and finish where God start. You think an omnipotent, omnipresent God needs your help? How you mean? And people went to war for God? We exist only to serve Him, you know. And? Daisy place here. Head game mandatory from this point. Two things get set off the traps. Runners, Kobo, and Potong. That's three things. Whatever. Four things. You enjoy the chaos, huh? It's entertaining to watch Ango lie. There we go. Easier to self farming and self camouflaging. You know what I mean? Let's work for we. Yeah, that is the important thing. Just check your scope now. Bust the shot when you're ready. She hesitates on the launch button. This? Really necessary? I mean, you have help now. Patrols or a more community oriented. Bust the damn of- button, Agil. She's about to when suddenly. Shit! Watch back and I'll know. 200 meters from their position, a young girl, Celeste, runs for her life. She's being pursued by two feral males, Rishi and Kara. A third feral male, Johan, lies dead, his body severed in half by a trap. Ayo regains her composure and has a look. She don't look infected though. So? We're not going to do anything? Yeah, we go do something. We go shoot if they pass the boundary. Five meters from the buffer zone, Celeste is grabbed by her final pursuer. She is scratched and bitten, but somehow manages to push him off. He staggers backward. But looks like excrement comes out of his mouth. <laughs> he was always full of shit by Karen. He expires. After a moment, she gets up to face Ayo and Judah. Stop, or I'll go shoot you in your face. Officer, I submitted myself for clearance testing. After all that, you're making smoke. Just turn wrong and walk. Officer, I... Don't talk. Just move. Hold on. I want to test her. Who robbing this train, you or Jesse? You can't shoot her if she's not going feral. You gonna report me out? No, but I am going to test her, so... We can't test now. Now after all them bite and scratch. Incubation time is half hour. We could wait. The discretion accord allows for that. The discretion accord allows me to protect the zone however I see fit. From ferals. She a feral. What do you ask? So let's come out. Look, little girl, let me tell you something. Move eh? forward. You're safe here. If you move, you're dead. Don't frighten. He's obligated to follow the rules. You gotta follow my orders as what? You have to allow her her rights. Officer! Or she out or I go shoot you. Shoot me now? You go just lost the cure? What? I get over the sickness. A while now. Have to be a reason, right? Get over what? Fuck you now, you imps. Nah. Fuck you. About a place where the people are carefree living. It is such a place of fun, loving, spreeing, and petting. It is the land where people 
don't care if Ash Wednesday fall on Good Friday. Man, they love to struggle in this happy, go lucky way. It's Blockorama, Fetorama, and just now is Masorama. So the foreigner come for carnival, and he telling himself after he had a ball. Trinidad is nice, Trinidad is a paradise. Mr. Foreigner, in La Trinity, the people have a carnival mentality. Trinidad is nice, Trinidad is a paradise. They are not serious, very few conscious. So I cannot agree with my own chorus. Trinidad is nice, Trinidad is a paradise.